G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is the third video in our Artist Showcase series. I wanted to begin by prefacing two things. First of all, I get hundreds of these sent to me so I can't feature them all in a video unfortunately. Uh, so the ones I feature are things that either feature um, art styles that I find interesting or pieces that are just very impressive or uh, artists who are new and learning and, uh, and are doing well and, and could use that encouragement and you know, publicity and then seeing, having people look at their work. That being said, with hundreds of art, artworks being sent to me, sometimes it takes me a while to get to your artwork to review it. So if you send me an image, don't send it to me again and again and again because you don't think I've got it. I've got it, but it might even take me up to a week to get to it to eventually review it because I'm going through these one by one, looking at them and trying to give constructive criticism as well as positive reinforcement. The other thing I wanted to mention is that on Wednesday is the one year anniversary of this YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. Uh, a year ago, I had no freaking idea that I would end up having over 13,000 subscribers in the first year. That's just, it blows my mind. So I really just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward to another year of a lot of content and fun interaction between both of us. Uh, but I, I will mention that I'm making this video a, a few days earlier because I have a surprise for you on Wednesday. So you have that to look forward to. And it might involve me semi-naked again. Why are they always my surprises? Jesus. So getting straight into it, our first piece is by X Eyes Ra X and it's called Watched. The tone of this piece is really well executed. There's minimal to no color at all. Uh, it's very much a solid black and white image except for one part which has a tiny bit of red. But the overall tone is just really well executed. There's a clear understanding of lighting and perspective and just the, the the quality of the line work and the shading is just really phenomenal. So especially if you're looking for kind of a reference for a very comic book style of art or, or a very simplistic solid black and white style of art, this is a really great picture to look at. Next by artist Smirkin is the picture titled Sigicide, which ha has quite a bit of tongue-in-cheek humour about it. It's really well shaded and the aesthetic is really well done, but the reason I, I'm featuring this is because it's just a, an entertaining piece. Um, often I get sent pictures that are just, you know, a cool dude in a pose or a cool landscape, and they're cool to look at, but I love getting little surprises like this, which are just fun pieces that are just that kind of take you off guard and make you chuckle. Next by artist Pounds is a picture titled Irishman, of which I informed he is learning digital painting and he mentioned that he has used my uh, digital painting tutorial videos as a bit of a guide in painting this. So I just wanted to feature this just to mention to that this this person, I always guess like male or female and I always get it wrong because they message me and they're like, I'm actually a dude or I'm actually a chick, so I'm not going to guess anymore. Uh, <laughs> but either way, yes, great job, keep it up. And especially for a very early piece of Photoshop painting, I think this is fantastically done. The next piece is by an artist I've featured on this series before in the first video, I believe, by Antaskill, and it's called Unearthly, and it just has a really cool dynamic look about it. I love the colours, I love the way the focus shifts to the centre of the image where the power is emanating, and the, the use of colours in particular, and the use of the, the framing and the overall shot itself just is very impressive and well, well done. Next by artist Skov MH is called Oh Mighty Destroyer. It's a very simple sort of image, but I really like the way everything comes together. The, compl the colors complement each other, the shading is fairly well done, and the background itself has this nice ambient sort of red to blue, like this hot to cold feel that merges well with the foreground, and it's all kind of framed and, and put out there quite well. Next piece by artist Zero Luminarium is The Rave Come to Play. This is a character that this artist has created called Raven and it's obviously inspired by a certain anime art styles, but the line work and the shading is very well done and I wanted to show that to you. Next piece by artist, I think it's pronounced T-Buck, is called Monstre. I love the simplicity and yet positive execution of this image. It's really simple, but it's really well done. It's like, I love pictures sometimes that are quite simple, but visually to look at are a bit like candy. It's just like sweet and cool. Next piece by artist Cookie Ravage is titled Winter. And this one just blows me away and was like, ooh, really close to getting the feature this week. And, and you know, like I'm not playing favorites or anything. 
but uh, it was very, it was a very close call. I just love, I love this picture. It just looks astounding. I love how the environment, the, the background merges with the atmosphere in the distance, the close mountains frame the overall image, the character in the center gives a sense of scale. Everything is framed in a sense of realism, the way the wind is blowing and where the snow sits on the mountains, how the atmosphere feels and the smoke and everything is just really well done. So I wanted to share that with you. Make sure to go check that one out. Next piece by artist MSP Toons is called A Nice Evening Stroll, which I have to mention is drawn with a mouse. This is a big deal. Now, it always helps to mention if, I mean, don't lie to me, but it always helps to mention what medium you've drawn it with or how much experience you have, because it gives me some kind of a context. And a piece like this having been drawn with a mouse is very impressive. Someone get this guy a tablet. But yes, I know the difficulty between drawing by hand in a pen type feeling and then drawing with a mouse and it's a severe handicap so this deserves a, a bit of attention and commendation because he's done a really good job or she has done a really good job i don't know anymore next piece by artist herb films is called about to save the princess and it is his first digital illustration and i think that always deserves a bit of a clap and encouragement because you can tell when someone's challenging themselves and being ambitious and i think that this person has done a good job Next piece by artist Mega Drive Sonic is called Gargoyle. I love the tone and texture of the image. The colors really complement each other. The character really sits out from the background. And even though they have complementary colors with the pinks and the purples, it still pops out, especially with the yellow in the eyes. And the, and the, the way that the pinks and the purples work off each other really frame the image. And the texture of the shading itself is really nice. It's not a flat sort of shading. It's like this really nice bubbly sort of soft gradient and texture. Next piece by artist, and I think I'm pronouncing this right, Doodle, do, do, Doodle, da, Doodle, <laughs> is entitled Vicious Lisk, and it is inspired by StarCraft for a competition to design a Zerg unit, I believe. Uh, and there's just something about this image, the legs, the legs just pop out to me. I don't, I don't know why, but the, the way that they're shaded and the highlights and it just, oh, it just looks like a very tangible, well done piece of the artwork. I don't know why, I'm just really into those legs. Uh, the silhouette of the image overall is well done and a nicely framed picture and the design of the unit is really cool. And our final piece and feature of the week on the front page of Newgrounds is by artist Random Barrowman and it's called Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Our artist here has been venturing into painting in Photoshop recently, apparently, and has credited and thanked me for my help in him doing his painting, but that's just bizarre to me because this guy obviously has some natural, awesome skills and is working extremely hard. And the amount of detail and attention to shading, lighting, and and just framing everything in this picture is really well done and this person deserves a feature and attention. So go to his profile and check out his stuff because he's obviously making wonderful progress. Just keep it up. And that is it for this week's Artist Showcase series. Thank you for joining me and until next time, see you later. Do you want me to review your artwork and have a chance to be in a future showcase video? Upload your artwork to newgrounds.com. You can send me a link by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time and understand I have a lot to get through, so please only send me one image and not a whole gallery and make sure that it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.